Hi everyone, Kate is here and welcome to this new video. Today I'd like to go over one really cool plugin that actually is essential for receiving and providing feedbacks about products, services, and all sorts of blog posts. But before we start uncovering amazing features of the Jack Reviews plugin, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to receive notifications about the new interesting and handy tutorials. Okay guys, so right now let's hop into the dashboard to start exploring the settings and the widgets of the Jet Reviews plugin. Once you download and install the Jet Reviews plugin to your website, you will find a new menu item right here. And as you can see, it has five sections as of now, and I'd like to go over each of them prior to creating the actual review and adding it to the page. So the first section of this menu, Jet Reviews. It gives us the general review statistics and the post type review statistics. Here you will find all the info in regards to how many reviews are there on your website, how many of them are approved or unapproved, how many comments there have been submitted for the reviews, and how many of them are again approved or not approved yet. So it is somewhat a dashboard of yours with the graphs and charts of the reviews with high to low score rating. And the same thing goes for the post types. So here you will find all existing post types on your website, default ones, posts and pages, and also products and properties. So for example, in my case, these ones posts and pages and products are empty as of now. That's because I'm not using them for the reviews. But the last one, properties, has got some reviews here already with some detailed info as well. Okay, so what's next? All reviews section. Here we get the full list of all reviews ever submitted to the website. So in this column, we see the author of the review, the title and the rating, info to which post type and post it was assigned to, date and time, and corresponding actions to approve or unapprove, add it or delete the review. If we click on add it, here we'll get all the information on the review itself. So title, content, fields, and how they were filled in, and so on. Moving on to the next tab, here you will find a default review that will be automatically created once the plugin is installed. And of course, here's the place where we can create our own review types with custom fields in it. So let's click on Add New. Here we can give a name to our review type and add required fields. So here we can enter the label, step and maximum value. So let me create a couple of fields right now. So the fields can be duplicated or removed simply by clicking on one of these buttons. Ok, so now let's add a new type. Good. You can add as many of such types as you need and the same goes for the fields in the review. Let's move on to the next section, comments. And it's pretty obvious that here you will find all the comments related to the reviews submitted on your website. Again, you can see who left a comment in the author column, what the comment actually was, to which post or product it has been assigned to, when it was submitted, and you can either approve or unapprove it, edit the comment or delete if needed. Pretty clear and simple, right? 
Okay, and the last but the most interesting section is settings. Don't worry, it's pretty simple to figure out. So here we can see all available post types on our website and on the right hand side we have an option to enable the review for this particular post. Once we toggle it on we get to see some additional and pretty useful settings. Here we can choose the review type for the post type and in this list we have all types of reviews created previously. Then here we can set allowed roles. We can choose the groups of users who will have an opportunity to leave the feedback on your products, services or posts. Here at the bottom we have the following four options. We can decide whether we want new reviews to be approved by admin prior to publication. Then we can choose if we want the reviews to be commented by other users. Here we can decide whether new comments need to be approved by admin as well. And right here we can choose whether we want to have likes and dislikes added to the review items. Okay, so let's keep the comments and likes and dislikes and proceed to our single page template to see how the Jet Reviews widgets work. Here's the single page template. Now let's search for the review. Okay, guys, to those of you who remember, Previously, we had only one widget to display the reviews on the website. Review widget. Right now, it is called static review. Let's drop it onto the page. Good. So basically, what this widget does, it pulls either manually entered data or post meta to the front end. So it's pretty good to use in case you already have some list of reviews collected previously somewhere and you really need them to be added to the page and displayed on your website. So the settings of this widget are pretty clear. If we go for the manual input, then we can decide whether to show the review author or not, add as many review items slash fields as we need, and of course, enter the label, set the field value, and maximum field value as well. Then over here, we can set the summary title and text, and right at the bottom, we can add summary legend. Good. In the next step, we can toggle the structured data on and Fill out the info that will be pulled out in Google and will allow Google to rank this review. In the next block, you can add title for the header, choose the type of average layout and enable or disable progress bar depending on which layout you've chosen. The field settings are pretty much the same but with a bit wider possibilities. Here you can choose whether you want the values to be displayed as points, stars or percentage. Again, enable or disable progress bar. Choose the position and alignment of the values and add a label suffix. Here we can select the summary results block position at the right side, bottom, left or top. Let's change it to the left. Here you can set the results block width and choose the average layout. Guys, pretty much the same kind of settings go for the post meta. The difference would be in the get data from post field where we need to enter the post ID from which we want the data to be pulled. Just as usual, the post ID can be found either in the all posts of the corresponding post type. Right here at the bottom, you can see post equals 1706 or in the exact post at the very top in the address bar. Post equals 1706. Okay, so let's go back to the Elementor. And let's enter it right here. Good. 
So the style and advanced tabs are right here at your service. So please feel free to make your review look stylish and eye-catching with all those different customization settings. And don't forget to click on publish or update button before leaving the page. Guys, I bet most of you already know this widget, so you surely were not surprised with all this info. That is why I decided to save the best for the last. If you were attentive enough, you probably have noticed another widget, Reviews Listing. It has recently been added to the Jet Reviews plugin 2.0 version. And believe me, it is really cool to use, as it is dynamic and it allows you to engage your website visitors, clients, or customers in the feedback process. Once you drop the widget onto the page, you'll see a simple set of settings in the content section. As of now, there are only three tabs, settings, icons, and labels. But guys, you're totally welcome to suggest other necessary items and our developers will consider adding them to this widget. So don't hesitate to stop by our GitHub page and share your ideas with us. And yes, I'll drop the link in the description down below so you won't need to search for it. Okay, so going back to the content section of the widget. In the settings tab, we can choose the rating layout, either stars or points. In the icons tab, we can decide what kind of icons to use, default ones that are already in use or your personal SVG icons. And in the labels tab, you can surely customize the labels of each button, placeholder or title. You might be wondering why, as I click through the tabs, we see no changes yet. That's because we don't have a review submitted as of now. So let's update the template and proceed to the actual page of this Ocean Star post to submit our first review. Let's do it under another user. So let me quickly log into the website. And now, there we go. Here's our property page and I need to scroll way down, almost to the bottom of the page. Good. And right now, give me a minute to write a review, okay? So, now I'm ready to click on Submit a Review button. Great! Looks pretty nice. And guys, I just logged in under another user to submit additional review and leave a comment for the first one. So let's make this one simple. Good. And now I'll like this review and leave a short comment. OK. Now let's go back to the Elementor and update the page. So Right now, we can see our reviews and comments as well and can easily change the style settings and customize all necessary items of the widget, such as rating, controls, forms. It's the form that user fills in on the front end, actually. Header and reviews and, of course, comments too. And one more thing. Let's check out our Jet Reviews dashboard to see if the statistics has been changed. There we go. Now we have more reviews and more comments approved. Do you think this is it? Well, no, not really. As we already have the rating included into the reviews, I'm pretty sure that you'd like to display it not only in the widget itself, but also somewhere else too. In short info of the post or in the listing of all available posts or properties, like in my case, for example. So now let me show you how this can be easily done with the help of new dynamic tag. Let's go to Jet Engine, Listings, and open main listing item with Elementor. As you can see, we already have a star rating widget 
added to this listing. But as of now, it pulls the info on rating from the custom field, rating. Let's remove this tag and add another one. Jet Reviews Average Rating. Just as usual, we can click right here to customize the settings. Choose the type percent or ratio. Set the ratio bound and decimals count if needed. Enter before and after text or fallback again if needed. Also, in the title we can set the reviews info, such as reviews count to get just the number of reviews submitted or the reviews count label to have the label added as well. And customize advanced settings. Ok, so let's update the changes and see how it looks on the front end. So I've just set a few reviews for some posts, so you could get a better idea of how it works. Here's the listing grid with the main listing item that we just edited. And as you can see, here's our star rating with the info from the reviews submitted for these posts. Looks pretty nice, right? And we can do the same thing for our single page template. Let's go back to Elementor. And now let's change the settings of the star rating widget here as well. Good. Let's update the template and check it out on the front end. There we go. Looks good to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and informative. And if so, don't forget to give it a like. Also, don't hesitate to ask your questions. Write in the comments down below and we will be glad to answer. Share your ideas and cool suggestions on our GitHub page and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!